Hello everyone, this is Jackknife101. Um, today, oh, sorry. I'm trying to get the camera fixed. Um, today we will be heading into the depths and hopefully just going right through it. Um, but you might notice a few things. First of all, I have some different things. Like, I have, my crimson set is now black, and my grass crest shield looks a lot different. I can get a good, here, light, that'll help, or not. Um, well, it looks different, let's just say that. Um, so, that's cool. I also retextured a couple swords, like the claymore. See, the claymore looks like that now. And the long sword looks like that. <laughs> um, let's see here. I think that might be everything, but you know. Um, I realized what was wrong with the DS fix when I had it before. It was that, um, I, uh, I didn't change the resolution size in the, um, the settings to 720. So it was causing it to lag, like, well, a lot. <laughs> Okay, so let's head into the depths. As you saw, that door right there leads down here. You get that key from beating Capra. And I'm going to roll back up here because I don't want to get ambushed. Double kill. Oh, they're dead. You can roll over here and get this item. <laughs> Let's see. Alright, so there's that guy. Here, fire dude. You're dead. You're dead. That attack, the little poke thing of theirs, is such an awkward animation. But anyway. So they're all dead. Um coming down here though there's a bit of a bad guy we're gonna want to deal with see that guy I don't like that guy but I can't do what I want to do about it so why don't we break his table I killed your pet too and I'm not ashamed of it As you see, these guys have quite a bit of health. Alright, he's dead. Right here, a very important item. The large ember. <coughs> Sorry, I noticed I cough a lot. In my videos to clear my throat. I'm trying not to as much. But, um, right there is the large ember. It's very important. Because, um,. It lets you ascend weapons to plus six through ten, which is very useful for, well, just everything, obviously. I think we have a couple large titanite shards. Yeah, we have. Oh, we don't. Well, that sucks. Crushing all my hopes and dreams already, game. That dog's dead. 
Usually these dogs are a lot more annoying. They like to jump all over the place. Alright. Up here is another meat cleaver. There's one like right up there. Yeah, he comes down when you step like right there. Oh there, that's an arc. Awkward camera. He died. Didn't even get a sack. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm saying he. That's not correct. Cause they are ladies. What's up, Pyro Bro? Thank you. I've been in the line. I shut up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, dearly. I am Luis. For the grace of I will not forget my destiny. Such a cool name, Laurentius. Um, one second. And we're back. Sorry for the cut there, I um, had to go put the dogs up. And of course, as always, whenever I sit down, my mouse just likes to be a dick. And move. Um, alright, so... Here's a door. But I don't care about that door. <laughs> because we're not going that way. In fact, we're going to take another little shortcut. It's one of, one of my favorites in the game. For just normal double shortcuts anyway. We All right, so you, you saw I rolled down that hole there. And here's a giant rat down there. Yeah, uh, there's a giant giant rat down there. You gotta use proper grammars. Anyway, if you come over here, there's the spider shield. Very useful item. All right, so you see this rat? I don't like this rat. Oh, I thought I wasn't dead. <laughs> Alright. So we got the sewer chamber key. Some humanity and the soul of a nameless soldier. Now, here's a pretty awesome shortcut. Come down here and congratulations, you're at the end of the level. Of course, there's also these rad assholes. Oh, whoa. Oh, there. Alright. Alright. Okay. Now that we dealt with them, we're gonna go up these stairs right here. And we're gonna do a couple things. Firstly, we're going to get ourselves a little rest. I think we deserve it. Oh yeah, that's another funny thing. If you come the way I did, um, when you climb up that ladder, you'll appear on top of those boxes. I always thought that was pretty funny. So yeah, you come out here, block that guy's attack, and just absolutely destroy his face. And there's a bonfire right in here. You have to have killed that rat to get access to this bonfire, by the way. Alright, so... Let's rest. And we're going to become alive. And there's a reason for this. Oh. One we want to kindle. You're welcome, whoever just got nest this flask. Anyway, and we're also out here so we can level up a couple times. Now, let's see here. 
I'm going to want to raise resistance. <laughs> no. I'll just get my dex equal with my strength. That sounds about cool. That sounds about right. Alright, um... Let's swap here a bit. Actually, I don't think we can. Well... Yeah, we can. Yes, we can. Aha! Boing. Alright. So in here are all these rats that we're not going to want to get poisoned by. One, one second again. Okay, you guys, we're back. Um, you know what sucks? Besides my camera sliding over the place? There's a humanity item drop from one of these rats. But it disappeared because I cut out of the game because I didn't want to get invaded again. And also, my mouse. That also sucks. But you know what doesn't suck? This Black Knight thingy mod that makes all the Black Knight weapons look, well, um, blacker. <laughs> I guess you could say. It's called, like, Better Black Knights or something like that. It does it for the armor, too. I'm not sure. It actually does it for the Black Knights themselves, though. That would be awesome, because then they'd look like... They'd look boss like applesauce. Oh, no, you don't, Mr. Rat. Gotcha. Okay, all the rats are dead. Alright. Okay, we're coming to grab this. And we're going to traverse the white line. Yeah. Alright, so over here, there is a channeler. I don't like channelers. I think they're gross. Thankfully, Thankfully, he's one-shottable. And so are these rats. Thank God these rats are one-shottable. But, they have one nasty launch attack. God, I healed. Got him. We got him, guys. Yeah, buddy. I try to like to block these rats, that's why I kept getting hit. I'm not used to dodging their attacks. One dead, two dead. Three dead, four dead. We're all dead. Inside. A poem by Jackknife. Okay, so that was the only real reason to come over here. Once you kill that channeler, he doesn't respawn. I know... I mean, originally when I first played the game, I thought all channelers were non-respawnable, but when I went to the Duke's archives, I was proven wrong. I was somewhat pissed off by it, but that's not the point. The point is, is that we need to run back. Because we got some business to take care of. Like rolling down here. Or jumping down. That works too. Anyway, dum da dum da dum da dum dum. Overhead chops are the best. These guys have the ability to drop um, green titanite shards and large titanite shards. Apparently, the, they must. This, Apparently FromSoft must think green is like an unworthy color because it's for the lower upgrades of all elemental weapons and then the, the better colors are for the, the higher upgrades. Huh. I thought something broke out of this box. Oh, okay. Anyway, you walk over here and then turn around. Wow. 
Okay. Didn't walk. Oh, wait, there he is. Got him. We got him, guys. We got him good. He didn't know what hit him. For a while, I always wondered why um, picking up humanity made the little curse bar appear, and it took a while for it to click, but oh, we attracted someone wanted attention. But anyway, the more humanity you have, the higher your curse resistance. Anyway, and this is our unwanted attention. See that fog there? That causes curse. You don't want to get cursed. In fact, we want nothing to do with curse. Okay, there are some items over there, but to be honest, the only thing noteworthy is the Ring of the Evil Eye, and I don't really care about it that much. I cared about it more on my no healing run, because I didn't count it as healing because it was so minuscule. It was kind of like ha having a meat cleaver just with a ring power up. Um, oh. Anyway. There's this rat here. Anyway, since we're alive, alive and well, and we're at the end of the level, seriously. Um, let's go over here for one thing. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's not up here. Silly me. It's over here. Whoops. That was Sunbro some sign. Right there. Hey, um we're sorry for the cut there. Um The thing is is that uh see I went and fought the boss, right? But then I had to go um do something during the boss that was a tad more important. Um so, I just quit out, and we were back outside the fog gate. So, let's just try this again, and we're going to summon Solaire. Alright, we summoned Sunbro, and I'm going to pause the recording here so that things can quiet down before I get back to it, okay? Okay, and we're back. Um, I am probably going to just play music over this fight because it might get a little loud, so yeah, here we go. Let's do the solar.
Ah, Solaire. You will be missed. Sorry. Um, so now we will probably be heading into Blight Town in the next episode. See you guys then.